Lions. Lion taming exists to make us think that the ferocity of lions is fake. Or lion taming exists to parody our sense of human mastery over the earth. Of course, any thought is a shot in the dark. But a poem exists to contain it. Now a thought is a watched pot. Surprise, surprise. It began with sensing difference. But since mind is the gape of surprise propped open, we can stop and think. If comparisons are sketchy, what about contrasts? Since mind is the gape of surprise propped open, we get bored. What's the good of that? Since mind is the gape of surprise propped open, a roller coaster has been placed between those painted lips. I keep rolling this lozenge around on my tongue. Where's the good in it? On melancholy. What I thought of as a pleasant lingering on things, tender, without the flurried rush of hope. Freud called melancholia. A state in which a person grieves for a loss she is unable to identify. What I experienced as a general attunement wishing only to continue, a suspended attitude. Freud described as narcissistic identification with the object that becomes a substitute for the erotic cathexis. And what if, in my case, there are multiple objects, whatever appears outside this window, the dangling threads of the weeping cypress, How I would love to make the elegant, dismissive gestures of those long fingers. Beside the white phone lines plunging almost straight down or up, taut, catching occasional rays of sun, like a child's idea of a message. Hang on. Domestic as an empty shopping cart parked on a ledge above a freeway. Artifactual as an acorn barnacle. What is the purpose of barnacles, people ask the internet. Barnacles are filter feeders, they're fish tank decor. A plaque of barnacles on top of a toilet. This cluster of brittle puckers clinging to its old idea. These craters striped pale lavender for some unlikely eye. 